In the top right corner of the screen, I will be popping up my previous videos about Windows 11 tips and tricks. In addition to all the items I've shown from that video, I have discovered 4 more Windows 11 tricks that are probably nice to know or might be able to help you now. Let's get started. Windows Spotlight is not a new feature in Windows 11. It was introduced in Windows 10 before. It gives the user new images daily to the lock screen. The beautiful lock screen wallpapers are from all over the world, which is updated regularly, so there's always something new to see. Along with the images, Microsoft usually also includes little messages and information about the wallpaper, and sometimes used as a way to promote certain Windows features or Microsoft Store apps. But the desktop background implementation in Windows 11 however, you only get the photos and no promotions, only a button that allows you to see where the photo was taken. So it's a great way to see a new place every day, and potentially even find places you plan to travel to. But before we get excited, make sure that your Windows 11 version is capable for the Windows Spotlight for desktop first. Search and open about your PC, to check. Scroll down to the Windows Specification section. From here you will see a field for OS build. The build should be at least 2200.706. If your OS build is lower than that, then the desktop Windows Spotlight feature is probably not available to you yet. I got 2200.832, so I'm good to go. Now from this settings window, click the personalization from the left side menu. If you want to turn on the Windows Spotlight to your lock screen, just go to lock screen item here. The default is Windows Spotlight here, but in case this has been changed, you will know where to set it. Let's go back to personalization, now let's go to background, to set the desktop Windows Spotlight. Under the personalize your background settings, I am currently set to slideshow, where my desktop wallpaper rotates to pictures from a folder that I selected. You can see that from my current wallpaper here. When we drop down this field, you will see, that Windows Spotlight is now available here. When we select that, we will now have great rotating pictures provided by Microsoft, just like what we are experiencing from the lock screen. Here we go. Unlike the one in the lock screen, we only have one icon here, which will let you know the location or any other important information about the current wallpaper. You'll have a summary tool tip when you hover to the icon. Double-clicking it will take you to the details of the wallpaper. And my current wallpaper turns out to be the Whitehaven Beach from Australia. That's how easy it is to apply the lock screen feature of Windows Spotlight to your own desktop now. When enabled, every day you will get a different epic scenery wallpaper, and let Microsoft do that automatically for you. Oh. Look at that. It has already switched to this whale shark image. Very nice. Since we are in the topic of wallpapers, let's step it up more and go to personalization, and then themes. Windows 11 comes pre-installed with six themes. That's Flow, Sunrise, Captured Motion, Glow, Windows Dark and Windows Light. If you are getting bored with this pre-loaded themes, you can customize them to mix and match the colors, cursors, sounds, backgrounds and more. But if even that customization becomes boring, you can add as many themes as you want, for free. Just click on the Browse Theme button here. This will open the Microsoft Store filtered with Windows theme items. From here you can browse, and select a theme that you like. Do note though that not everything is free. You will need to buy some items here to download them. Take note of each item's lower left corner. But majority of the items here are free. You can click an item to get a preview on how it will look like, and some of the wallpapers it will rotate to. If you like it, just click the Get button. Then wait for them to download and install. Once installed, you can click the Open button, which will open the Personalization Themes page of your Windows settings. From the list of themes, you should see the new theme, that you have recently installed. Just click on that to apply the theme. There we go. You can of course, still customize the settings, after applying the theme. You can install as many themes as you want, just browse here, and get what you like. In case you want a specific theme, you can also do a search. Let's say dogs, for example. After searching, expand the filter first, then make sure that the department is filtered for themes. You can add more filters for age, types, and categories, if you want. From here, just browse, check them out, and get what you want. Downloading and installing usually just takes a few seconds, depending on your internet speed of course. Once installed, just select the theme, and you are all set. It's that easy. Now, one of the annoying things that Windows implemented is the disappearing scroll bar. I think the reason they did this is to give more space to a window by removing the scroll bar when not needed. But, how much space does a scroll bar really take up? It is just a small part of an unused space in the side of the window. Also, without a scroll bar, you would initially think that there's no more data below a page, since there's no indicator that you can scroll down further, which is very deceiving and confusing. 
Thank god they put this indicator now, which still disappears when you hover out the space for a long time. But you cannot use this indicator to scroll. See? And, you already have an indicator there already. So why not just bring back the scroll bar altogether? Fortunately, Windows 11 put up a setting that can permanently show scroll bars. From the settings, go to Accessibility from the left side menu. Then go to Visual Effects. And the first item here will be the toggle to always show scroll bars. Just enable it, and your scroll bars will now be always visible. See when I turn this off, the scroll indicator from the left side menu will be gone. Which when you first see it, it will let you think that there's no more items beyond what is visible. Which is just plain dumb. So in my own personal opinion, this setting should not exist anymore, and Windows should just always make scroll bars visible, so that, in a glance, you already know how big the data are in the screen you are looking at. Hiding the scroll bar saves just around 5 pixels of space, and this space on the side is most of the time, just a blank space anyway. So I can't really see any value on this feature. With that, I highly suggest to always make your scroll bars visible. Finally, if you are planning to upgrade the RAM of your PC, you might want to know how many memory slots you have. You can do this by opening the task manager. You can either press Win X keys from your keyboard, or right-click on your start button, to launch the start context menu, then select task manager. From the task manager, go to the performance tab. Then click the memory section from the left pane. From the details below, you will see slots used. For my ZenBook 13 OLED laptop, I have two of two. Which means I have two memory slots, and both of them are being used. As an alternative, we can also get the memory slot details by using the command prompt. Just search for it from your start menu, then open it. Type in the command WMIC, space mem physical, space get, space max capacity comma, space memory devices. You can copy the whole command from the video description below. Then just press enter. There we go. You will see here the currently available memory out of the 8 gigs total my PC has, under the max capacity column. Then under the memory devices, you will see how many you have. This does not indicate though how many of those memory devices are in used, so I would recommend to just use the task manager, since it gives you more information about the memory usage. And that's it for this one. I hope this helps. If I gathered more helpful tricks for Windows 11, or any other common tools for that matter, I'll be sure to create a new video for them. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.